Hey everyone, so some big announcement. First one being a ship license plate. Now that is pretty huge to me and it brings some confidence to investors. Now, thank you so much for dropping a like today because we have so much to talk about. People are advocating on using Shiba Swap, but it's 2025 and there's a ship army meeting. We all have our own Ferraris. That would be the perfect crypto state, wouldn't it? Like a Shiba Nation. I, I would simply love that, but we have to make a break and do a few barriers uh, before we can actually get to that point. I definitely do hope we can make it through. Thank you so much for watching my news. I really appreciate you because I do think there's a lot of potential for crypto. I do think Bitcoin could go to 150,000 by 2030. And, you know, call me crazy, but I do think Ethereum could also reach 100,000 by 2030, or it could reach at least, you know, 50, 60, 70,000. And crypto is going to be much bigger at that time. But crypto population doubled to over 200 million users since January, report says. It only took four months for a crypto population to almost double from 106 million to February to 203 million in May. So if there's 200 million users, if we get ever to, you know, seven or eight billion people even if we get to one billion or two billion uh, that is going to be way more than bitcoin ever thought it would be so cryptocurrency adoption has since accelerated growth this year with the global crypto population doubling since january according to a new report and that's a lot of potential holders for shiba inu i think there's a lot of people that could be using shiba inu in the future but major digital asset company crypto.com released its latest study on measuring global cryptocurrency users on thursday Day. I really do wonder what's going to be the number in 2022. Sorry, <laughs> 2000. Uh, 20, yeah, actually that. But the uh, cryptocurrency users on Thursday discovering that the number on crypto users worldwide has more than doubled from 100 million in January to 221 million in June. So every single month, we're seeing a bigger and bigger increase. Now, the firm pointed that the crypto adoption has been growing rapidly this year as it only took four months to double the crypto population from 106 million in February to 203 million in May. For comparison, it took nine months for the numbers of global crypto users to reach 100 million from 65 million since crypto.com started tracking crypto adoption levels but it seems like more and more companies are coming into crypto more and more banks are offering the option to invest into crypto paypal is coming in you know mastercard is coming in visa is coming in everyone you can imagine knows that crypto is going to be the future and i do fully agree with this and the point of this i'm trying to make is i do think ship is going to be the future because you know a lot of younger generations and older generations want to invest into meme coins now meme coins with actual utility that do have a long-term growth the point factor here being if binance invested so much into this if they invested 550 million into shiba inu there's so many more companies that could be be investing now obviously the point of meme coins is that they have no uses however shiba swap and shiba inu do have an actual use case now maybe it's not as big as ethereum yet but it could definitely happen now the results show that bitcoin and the second most valued cryptocurrency ether has been losing their market shares in terms of the composition of crypto owners while the numbers of users holding other digital assets have been steadily growing this means that you know people have been holding more crypto like not ethereum but other coins so more and more people are now holding something that's not Bitcoin. So you can see, you know, Bitcoin had a huge dominance of 67%. Now it has only a 51 and more and more people are holding other things than crypto. This means that Shiba Inu has a lot of potential. According to CryptoCon findings, the altcoin adoption was likely spurred by an influx of new users interested in altcoins like Dogecoin and Shiba Token amid Elon Musk's criticism of Bitcoin mining over its alleged environmental harm. So uh, everyone is super excited about Doge. Everyone is super excited about SHIB. And I do think both can grow. I definitely do think Shiba Inu could reach 40 billion at some point. Because if Dogecoin is at 40 billion or even 30 billion, so can Shiba Inu. And if you didn't know, Shiba Inu is at 3 billion right now. So going 10x, uh, I think it's very possible even by the end of 2022, if not sooner. That's a safe bet for me. Again, not financial advice, but it gives you a clear idea of what's going on. Crypto.com's latest population study comes after a company released the first ever edition on measuring global crypto users in May 2020. And we can see here the data from 24 major global cryptocurrency exchanges, including Binance, Coinbase, Hobie, and others. 
years. So more and more people are joining in crypto. Crypto is not dying. Shiba Inu is not dying by this point. You know, uh, Dogecoin and Shiba Inu being the first early projects, meme coins with actual utilities, while Dogecoin still has to release its own utilities, it's very likely that we're going to be seeing something very positive in the future. The adoption is here. 200 million users. That's 200 million potential users for Shiba Inu. You know, if every single person invested $1 into Shiba Inu, that, that would be a 200 million dollar market cap increase but of course a lot of people would invest a lot more or if three institutions invested 200 million to shiba inu that would mean 600 million increase now that is something exciting to see what we're doing right now is waiting for institutions but altcoins are growing and pushing higher as bitcoin bulls fight to hold 40,000. so the fight is going on but altcoins small cap altcoins are now growing so obviously these are the ones shiba inu not is growing as much as you know to grow by 10 percent for ship a lot would have to be bought about 30 million or so just to grow by 10 percent so um seeing that i think actually we would need to see a, a lot bigger growth we would need to see a 300 million investment to see a 10 percent growth in the market and the overall market condition continue to improve following the now denied rumors that amazon would begin accepting cryptocurrencies I do hope they do that in the future. Even if we see something from McDonald's, if we see something from Subway or a big brand, like even a clothing brand like Nike, imagine if they start accepting ship along with other cryptocurrencies. Uh, like they accept five cryptocurrencies and one of them is Dogecoin and ship. That would be crazy. But uh, which helps spark an increase of more than 155 billion in the total cryptocurrency market capitalization over the past three days. So crypto going strong, you know, a lot of smaller crypto is growing over here, but PayPal is super keen and super app sets to roll out soon. So the setup project was already code complete and planned to be fully ramped in the United States in the next several months. So they're planning a new app and it's a secret project. And I do think it might be for buying crypto to have greater crypto functionality through the platform. And when that happens, this means PayPal will allow people to basically deposit crypto to collect crypto with their wallets, but the super app wallet will feature high yield savings, early access to direct deposit funds, mes messaging capability, additional crypto capabilities, so more people will be using crypto and more. And Shulman said each wallet would be unique, driven by advanced AI and machine learning capabilities. PayPal reported it had more than 400 million active users as of June 30th, with 311 billion in total payment volume for a second quarter of 2021. This means this this could be 400 million or even 40 million new users for crypto. Very simply put, when you download the app, you, you basically invest into crypto. This could be the next big thing. Venmo also launched crypto trading in April, had roughly 58 billion in total payment volume for second quarter with 76 million active accounts. And that's a lot of people coming into crypto and I definitely do think Bitcoin will be reaching 100k at some point. We're one of the few payment companies to allow consumers to use cryptocurrency as a funding source. We see also a strong adoption and trading of crypto on Venmo. And earlier this month, PayPal announced that it will be increasing the limit on crypto purchases for certain based uh, user based from 20,000 to 100,000. So whales coming in. The payments firm initially said it will be entering the crypto space in October 2020, later allowing eligible customers to use crypto for training and payments. Look at this. Uh, launches cryptocurrency trading so they're trying to go for every single market out there and if venmo is in if if paypal is in that's about 450 million users they will be able to buy as one dollar worth of crypto and can use either funds from their venmo balance or from a linked bank account or a debit card to buy and sell their holdings and this will be also possible for a ship right now you know they have five coins or four bitcoin at ether litecoin at bitcoin hash they don't even have dogecoin right now but when we see them adding shiba inu and it's only a matter of time when they add it because there's a lot of demand for dogecoin and shiba inu then we're going to be seeing that massive growth you know we're seeing developments underway for crypto and just right now if these big partnerships start to happen you know first coca-cola now officially gets into nfts for charity first nfts then maybe starting to accept payments in nfts or maybe in nfts 
maybe in crypto, but uh, this is huge. Coca-Cola brand non-fungible tokens or NFTs, uh, and they basically gave their open uh, official Coca-Cola NFTs. And yeah, that's a big thing. It seems like NFTs are actually the future. You can uh, coin that for born in August that the New Zealanders and Australians had the choice of purchasing the favorite, famous carbonated drink and others using crypto through a partnership between digital platform Central Play and Coca-Cola Amatil. So for Australia and New Zealanders, you can already use Bitcoin in vending machines, you know, and purchase purchase Coca-Cola. Like, that's crazy. Um, and they're accepting payments in crypto in June. But uh, not a lot of people realize when Coca-Cola makes it official, this will push the demand. You know, the, co the pandemic really did push the demand for such things, uh, especially for crypto. And that's why it basically raised up so much in value and why it speeded up the process by probably five years or so. But I encourage digital with custody crypto seized by the U.S. Marshals. And we can see stringing the process and procedures as likely factors in the decision from the federal agency. Um, you know, some random news I found over here. Crypto Custody Bank will be providing digital asset services for the uh, for seized funds re related to federal crimes. Uh, just, you know, something else to look at. But Ethereum Paris gains Bitcoin pushed under 40k as the Fed is set to reveal tapering plans. The two cryptocurrencies appear directionless after correcting in sync from their low monthly highs. And Ethereum will definitely be one of those growing coins, I think. Um, but we do have a lot more to look into. Uh, a lot of things could happen for Bitcoin and Ethereum next. Until next time, I'll keep you updated with this one. Thank you so much for watching, but we're not over with the news yet. Bit mining steps of Bitcoin mining operations in Kazakhstan, and that's all for the news for today. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, peace everyone.